because of the water that has saturated city streets. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin joins us now live. And Michael, has the water gone down at all? No, Chris, it hasn't. We checked in with the police department. They told us that water is still rising, but very slowly at this point. We spent some time with some residents who right now are just waiting for this all to be over. I've lived in Barbara my whole life, you know, for 30 years since I've been born, and I've never seen it like this ever. I mean, this is the worst. I do water and fire restoration, and I've never seen it this bad. The last 24 hours in Barberton have been a bonding experience. Uh, it's up to my circuit breaker. It's probably like four and a half, five feet deep in my basement. I mean, it's up to my basement steps that are going into my house. Even for the non-smoker, you might understand why someone would want to light up, especially if your street look like this. They said that it won't, the water won't peak until sometime tonight, and it'll be a guessing game as to when we'll get back in. We seen it come up from yesterday, you know, from where it wasn't nothing at all in the middle of the street until where it's at right now, and actually it ain't receding, you know, it's still coming up. Police say nearly three inches of rain fell yesterday, and that doesn't include the three days prior. There's been so much rain that to get down the street, some are walking through water, and lots of it, while others are using a less conventional method on a July summer day to get around town. Officials are hoping that the rivers and creeks will go down below their banks and soon, so life can return to normal. Some say this looks like a Hollywood disaster movie they have no interest in. I mean, that's it. We got a front row ticket to it, but uh, it's not the kind of show I want to want to be seeing. You know, that's for sure. An emergency shelter has been set up at the YMCA. We knew at least 60 people were evacuated from the Heritage Apartment Complex, and officials say it's just a waiting game because right now there is nowhere for the water to go. On your side, I'm Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5.